It's Black History Month, and I am here with two amazing and accomplished women and members of the Canadian National Women's Hockey Team, Sophie Jakes and Sarah Nurse. Ladies, how are we? So good. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm amazing. Amazing. <laughs> you guys have had a lot of unbelievable firsts. I know you probably get, actually, you shouldn't get tired of talking about it, so that's what we're gonna do today. Sarah, you're the first ever black female to win an Olympic gold medal in hockey. Score! The deflection in front, Sarah Nurse! To see, you know, black women before me who have played 14 Canada, who haven't necessarily reached that Olympic goal, it's kind of surreal that I was the first, but definitely not the last. And I know that there are so many that are gonna be coming after me and are gonna play with me. And so we hopefully, we can win another one together. <laughs> that would be pretty special. From east to west, just the Olympics she had like was truly incredible. And like I remember seeing that like Drake posted you on his story and like just <laughs> seeing all the people and how much like it just showed that there was a black female hockey player and she just won a gold medal. I think it was really great for a lot of young girls out there who look up to you. Tell me Drake follows you. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to see it. <laughs> As he should. As he should. <laughs> Sophie, you're the first ever black female to win the Patty Kazmaier. What does that mean to you? Honestly, it's incredible. Like, it didn't even feel real when it happens. Like, it still doesn't feel like it happened. Being a role model for all the younger girls out there and having stuff to someone to look up to, like, who's done it before, and to show that, like, anyone can do it, I think is really important. And just, like, even, like, just seeing little black girls, like, somewhere in the audience there and how happy they were, too, I think was a really incredible moment. When I was in university, there was less than 15 black women playing in the NCAA in hockey. And so to think of the best player in college hockey being a black woman like that was insane. So just to see you win that was amazing. And like, I had like chills. I remember I messaged you after and I was like, I don't want to seem like too much, but like, I'm just like really <laughs> proud. And I hope we get to play together one day. And then Sarah, the first black female athlete to be on the cover of NHL 23, NHL game, I should say. How did it come about? We had worked with EA a little bit in the past, okay. and I basically said, like, okay, I don't want to just be, like, a figurehead. I want it to actually be meaningful. Like, women need to be integrated in the game properly. I remember playing that game growing up, and, like, it's incredible for me even thinking about there's women in that game, and then let alone for a black woman to be on the cover, I think is truly incredible. Hey, Trevor! Want to play some chow? Okay, back to you. <laughs> First black female to be drafted in the PWHL. For the draft, just for me to be the first black woman drafted and it was the inaugural draft, like that just shows how many more are gonna get drafted in years to come. And just to have that diversity from the beginning, I think is a huge step. You guys were in a historic game. Uh, in the rivalry series with Layla Edwards in her first game, there were three black women on the ice. What does that mean to you guys? Taking over. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty monumental. There are obstacles that had to be overcome to get to that moment. And the fact that we're all here making a huge impact on our respective teams is pretty inspiring and I definitely felt it in the building. With Black Girl Hockey Club there and the amount of young girls in the stands there, I just think it was an incredible moment and all of us to be at that level played together. I think that it was incredible that Sophie, um, Layla and I were able to be a part of that game, but I hope that in 10 years, like, that's not blown out of proportion. I definitely hope that Black people playing hockey is a normality and not a novelty. It's another day at the rink, and that's my biggest hope. It's just that black players feel completely comfortable and confident and are ready to own the hockey rink. 